it shouldn't take you too long. The most important part on this type of dog is getting them clean. If they are not clean, you will never get a good finish on it. Um, and that makes it very frustrating to do your groom because no matter what you do, they still look dirty, they still look tracky. So rather than be frustrated and uh, try and get a, a good groom on a dirty dog, it's worth it to just send them back to the tub or take them back to the tub and rebathe them. They're already, they already have most of their hair off. They've been bathed once already, so they should, shouldn't take you too long to bathe. They're gonna dry faster um, because they're more clean. Because a lot of times on these types of dogs, if they're not clean, you can't get them dry because that dirt holds the moisture in. So it's really important that they are sparkling clean, like squeaky clean, and as dry as you possibly can get them. We use high velocity dryers to dry them, and then you can take that condenser cone off and put it right down by their skin as long as it's not too hot. If it is hot, I would move it around so it's never in the same spot for a very long period of time. I always keep my hand right where the dryer is. So I use my right hand to dry and my left hand is on the dog. If there is any spray coming off the dog, it's going to cool as it touches your hand. So it will feel like your hands, hands being air conditioned and you'll know that's still moisture. Um, so keep your hand down there. You'll feel how hot the dryer is, how hot is this on the skin, because their skin is similar sensitivity to your skin, and that will get them dry right down to their skin. You want them as dry as you can get them so that you can clipper them, because if there's any moisture, it's gonna bog down your clippers because they have such thick coat and such thick undercoat.